Joyce es muerta. Porque él está en otro actor. Joyce Eshaquan died because she's indigenous, is what her husband, Carole Dubé, said on Tuesday after Quebec coroner Jeanne Kamel presented her report of the investigation into the death of the Atikamekw mother of seven, who live streamed herself hours before dying at the Joliet Hospital, 50 kilometers northeast of Montreal, as staff hurled racist insults at her. Her death in September of 2020 ruled accidental, dying of a pulmonary edema, but the coroner Coroner says it was avoidable and the racism and prejudice she faced contributed to her death. Her family now planning for legal recourse. Dans ce rapport de preuve. To see in this report the proof of what our hearts felt comforts us a bit. Coroner Kamel says Joyce was ostracized and her death directly related to the treatment she received at the Joliet Hospital in her final hours, where staff misjudged her as a drug addict in withdrawal. Because of that label that she was given, she was denied the health care that was required by her condition. Um, and this led to the events that happened on September 28th. At a press conference, when asked if the coroner believed Joyce would still be alive were she a white woman, Kamel simply answered yes. The nurse and orderly that were recorded both denied having racial prejudices. If this wasn't recorded, this event would have never been brought to public attention and Ms. Eshaquan would have never been heard. The lawyer for Joyce's family says a civil liability lawsuit and a complaint at the Human Rights Commission will be filed without providing further details. This is an important uh, recourse to bring forward and it's also something that will um, help ensure that concrete steps will be taken to prevent something like that from ever happening again. In 2021, in Quebec, on peut laisser quelqu'un mourir. In 2021, in Quebec, we can let someone die because this person is considered the same level as an animal? Of the more than a dozen recommendations made in the report, the coroner called on the Quebec government to recognize systemic racism within its institutions. It's written in black and white in my report, the word systemic racism, because the case of Ms. Eshaquan, that's exactly what happened. And the day that we can name the word, this is what happened in this case here, and she's not the only one to go through it. I think by identifying it, we will have made a big step. Quebec Premier François Legault Tuesday said he agreed that Eshaquan was subjected to prejudice, discrimination and racism at the Joliet Hospital, but maintained that systemic racism does not exist in the province. Our healing will happen with the truth, and today a piece of this truth was revealed. We don't have all the answers, but at least today we advance in this direction. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.